What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to the Courtside Financial Podcast, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. I think we've got a pretty groundbreaking episode today. Before we uh, kick off last Friday, I had Marty, uh, the first guest, not the first guest on this podcast. There were some guests on my, uh, well, I would say this podcast specifically, but not the first guest on my channel. We had him on last Friday for uh, another recording session where he made a pretty bold prediction and it has partially come true. Um, so while that's going on, what is what's he what 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 happened? What happens with Elon Musk? And Tesla, number one, they 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 didn't announce Reuters announced that the Model 2 wasn't going to happen or wasn't going to happen now and that they were going to focus on robo taxi was not well received news even though kathy woods she loves robo taxis she doesn't know very much about robo taxis but she loves them um they just tesla decided their best bet is to put as apple did put our money where where it matters and they said they're going to do the robo taxi now here's what i want to tell your viewers i'm going to make a prediction right now not right now but i'm going to make a prediction that I don't know if anyone else has made it. I'm sure people, other people have drawn this conclusion, but I have nothing to lose. I have no, I have no skin in the game making this, making this opinion. I want to point out something to you, um, Obi, that um, I got to pull up, uh, pull up my, uh, my notes. I don't read a teleprompter, but I do, I do have some notes. A couple of days, uh, while this, while that, while the, the Beijing auto show is going on, Elon gets on a plane. He goes and goes to China. He visits the um, he visits the um, vice premier, uh, vice premier, the second most powerful person in China. He visits him and asks for permission to use full auto driving there, um, the Tesla system, uh, to try you know to get it to be considered for use in in China, and it's under consideration. And and you know it, it it's an interesting move because what it basically did is it. It it took it took the spotlight away from the Beijing Auto Show and put it on Tesla. Everybody was talking about Tesla's over there seeing the he's seeing them and well he asked for the full self driving. Don't you think the Chinese asked him for something back? Of Do you course. think they did? Do you think they asked him for anything back? I know I know they asked him for something back. And we're gonna get to that in a minute. He he. After that, he, we know now the Model 2 is gone, moving forward. The Model 2 is gone, comes back to, I don't know where he goes back. He leaves China, he goes, some, he goes somewhere else. What's the next announcement we get? He's breaking up the supercharger team. He's either laying them off, letting them go, whatever. He just signed GM, uh, not to Ford and other companies on the supercharger. The as well. And now he's saying he's going to back off. Anybody know why? Well, Marty, know, Marty thinks he knows why, and my and I'm going to say right now, I'm going to show you something. I want to read something to you. Give me a second. Okay. I, again, I told you I do not get my news from stock reports. I get it from. I read. Uh, this is this is from three days ago. It's not dated. I have it up on my thing, but it's from Tech Radar, and it, they it, the the headline is Tesla EVs can get a massive range boost. From a new battery tech that promises three a 373 mile range and 10 minute charge. They then go on to describe this battery that's made by CATL. And I'm looking at this thing, and it took me about like like an eighth of a second to realize these guys are just describing the same battery that was in the ET7 that went that they go on to say. The Beijing, it, it was announced at the Beijing Auto Show last week that. It could see as much as 621 miles from a single charge. That's Detroit that's a thousand Michigan, kilometers. Detroit to New York. Detroit to New York, but it's also the same distance that that William Lee drove in December. That's what that's what he did. He did 621 miles. <laughs> it's the same battery. This is absolutely, in my opinion, well, my opinion is not absolute, but in my opinion, this, it's absolutely is, ba opinion. this is the battery. That's going into the Tesla Robo Taxi, and Marty Marty's opinion is the Tesla Robo Taxi will swap batteries, and when that hits the street, watch out. 
I think the, every and, robo I think taxi. every I think every robo taxi is going to be able to go to a neo swap state. Here's the thing. That doesn't mean that every single Tesla is going to swap batteries. It doesn't mean every single Neo is going to even swap batteries in the future. The Firefly is not going to swap batteries. There, some people don't. Some people don't want to. They don't want to pay, or they don't care about that. They, they you know, and and by the way, people that are driving uh, that are driving hybrids, they don't care about a swappable battery. They're never going to wear the battery out anyhow. They don't. And, they don't use the battery enough. The the government mandates are not going to change. Every government in the world says. ICE is going. I don't know how fast it's going to go, but every government is in agreement. So the taxi industry is going to make a huge transformation. They need speed. Again, I've mentioned before the military, first responders, um, commercial vehicles, already finding out the, the best way to emulate a fill-up for a gasoline car is with a, a swap battery. And that robo, the robo-taxi... If that's the battery they're going to use, I, I I can't see the robo. I cannot. Maybe, you know, somebody could come on and make their point to say, I cannot see anybody investing in a robo taxi that will wear the battery out before that taxi is ready to go out of service. Plus, having to buy it. That's the other beauty of a, a swappable battery. You don't have to own it. You rent it. And if you don't need the big battery, you get the smaller battery. There's plenty of Neos out there that have seventy five. They have seventy five volt, uh, seventy five watt, seventy five watt batteries. You know, and they work. They work just fine. They, they're people. Are, they're in urban areas. They don't have to travel great distances. They don't need a thousand mile battery. I personally don't need a thousand mile battery every day. I need it a few times a year. You know, I certainly wouldn't pay no. I, I certainly wouldn't invest forty thousand dollars in a battery. But I'll be happy to rent one if you give me the right price and if it's available in the U.S. And and so what what I'm basically saying is that te that is going to be the intro of uh, I I don't I don't see Tesla Tesla doesn't have to put robo taxis in the U.S. swapping batteries from day one, but they may do it in China. He said while Tesla Elon Musk was out um, in Beijing during the Beijing Auto Show, he was having discussions about Tesla being able to launch their robo taxi network uh out in china well this is fresh off the press from reuters i'll pull up the article and read it to you that was his prediction it came true uh let me get this up on the screen for you guys really quick one second okay fresh off the press from reuters tesla has proposed to launch robo taxis in china chinese state media reports tesla has proposed to launch robo taxis in china um, China Daily, the newspaper reported on Wednesday. It's Wednesday out in China right now. According to the report, China may support Tesla's domestic testing and demonstration of robo taxis, but has not approved the full implementation of full self driving software in China. Tesla did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the China Daily report. Um, so basically, that's all that came out of the news. It says Musk on the trip intended to discuss the rollout of full self-driving and whether Tesla could secure government approvals to transfer data overseas that could prove pivotal in its development of autonomous vehicles, according to a person with knowledge of the matter. So that was a great prediction from, from Marty. Marty, good job. You We got this out on Friday. It is now Tuesday, so literally Two business days later, your prediction comes uh, true. Hats off to you on that. But today's video, which I was actually getting into recording until Marty called me just uh, literally like 10, 15 minutes ago, where we talked about this was if Tesla was going to be announcing that they're going to uh, start implementing battery swapping when they unveil their robo taxi. I'm going to give my prediction on that uh, quick my answer to that question is no. I don't think that they'll make this um, announcement anytime within this current year, this current fiscal year. And I'm going to get into uh, some data points on why I don't think that Tesla will announce that they will be battery swapping over the next six months, where, whether it be in the US or whether it be in China. Now, I could be completely wrong. 
this is completely uh, speculation, but this is just my opinion on the matter. I wanted to get my thoughts out there and see what you guys think. And obviously I'm a Neo bull, I'm bullish on battery swapping. It's been documented here on the channel for quite some time now. I've been raving about battery swapping. So you guys know I'm just keeping it objective. I'm just being a realist. But anyways, before we get into this super interesting, super insightful video, make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button we're trying to get to 10k subscribers before the year is over if you can help us out with that we'd be ever so grateful click the notification bell icon and leave a comment down below all your engagement really does help out the video help out the channel to reach a broader audience so thank you and without further ado let's get into the episode so first off let me just say that i'm very bullish on battery swapping you guys hear me talking about all of the problems that it solved and you've seen me raving about it on this channel over the years do i think that it would benefit tesla to have swappable batteries in the robo taxi absolutely do i think that we'll have an announcement about that over this current year i just don't think so but before we talk about why let's set the stage speculation is rife about tesla recently disbanding a portion of its charging team uh, to take on battery swapping when they unveiled their robo taxi and then there's the announcement of CATL having a semi-solid state battery that can obtain 373 miles of range in 10 minutes and 621 miles of range when fully charged which as Marty pointed out sounds very similar to NEO's uh, 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery that is already a real thing already on the market already has rolled off the production line tesla is a customer of catl and this is where all the speculation is coming from so now let's get into why i don't think that tesla will be implementing battery swapping in any form this year guys i'm originally from michigan i've been out here the last two weeks i'm currently in michigan at my parents house right now but i live in uh, the air I live in Arizona and guess what we've been having since I've been living out there robo taxis That's right Waymo Google subsidiary is out there So I say all that to say I'm a customer and I ride in Waymo quite frequently. Here's a video for proof Now I'm going to get into a lot more detail over the next 10 minutes or so I want to say, but the point that I want you to stick on and the point that I want to get across is that Waymo works. Waymo's fleet is based off of the Jaguar I-Pace, which utilizes LiDAR technology versus Tesla's approach to creating a vision-based system. Now for the purpose of this video, I won't get into all the differences between the two, but what you need to understand is that Waymo, I mean that LiDAR is far more costly, but it's also far more accurate. And I'm speaking about that today. That's how it is today. That's just a fact. It uses a lot more cameras and it uses a lot more power. Think about the power. So Tesla, with their approach, they should be a lot less taxing on the battery life. This scholarly article that I was looking into while I was doing some research for the video uh, to back up my claim says that Although LiDAR has obvious accuracy advantages, its continuous inefficient power consumption has a fatal impact on the power supply of connected and automated vehicles, CAVs. Therefore, Tesla's method reduces power consumption compared to traditional LiDAR. So, like I said, far less taxing on the battery, on the range, but even with a greater power consumption associated with LiDAR, Waymo has a working product and service on the road today. That's just a fact. I can call a Waymo today and it'll be there to get me. They aren't all just sitting at some charging um, station like a lot of people would like you to believe. When a Waymo vehicle is about to run out of power, it, re it returns to a manned charging depot where it is cleaned and charged and it takes about 40 minutes to char and it takes about 40 minutes to charge. More on that to come later on in this video. There are already 50,000 Waymo users that are on the waiting list to take advantage of this service. You can see the cars here, at least some of them are still on the uh, Sautel lot uh, getting their last minute fixes and getting ready to hit the road in the LA area today. This is definitely the beginning of an era. Tech startup Waymo is offering 
paid robo taxi rides in LA starting today after being cleared by California officials. Anyways, when demand for robo taxis picks up, battery swapping would be a huge value add. I agree with that. I'm not disagreeing with that at all. Even today, it would be amazing. But the question that I'm posing in this video is, is battery swapping necessary for Tesla to have a working product on the road with their robo taxis? And the simple answer is no. Look at Waymo. Not asking if it would make it better. I believe it would make it better. But is it necessary? The simple answer is no. Because Waymo is functioning without battery swapping right now, today. Teslas will all have even more range and they're more efficient on um, battery consumption than a Jaguar I-Pace. We should all know that. The Jaguar I-Pace at a fully charged battery can do 246 miles of range. And like I said earlier in the video, 40 minute, in 40 minutes, the Jaguar I-Pace can be charged to 80%, giving it 172 miles of range. Here's the thing. Waymo does mostly short trips. Look at these trips that I've taken with Waymo. 246 miles of range is a lot for short trips. This is what Forbes said about Waymo. For cab drivers, having to take somebody half a mile is not at all productive, yet short trips are actually valuable to the rider. I can attest to this. I'm a customer. I'm speaking from experience. Now, I did some speculative napkin modeling on Waymo. Since Waymo's finances are not broken out directly, they fall into the category of Google's other bets, which is comprised of different ventures that Google has going on, different subsidiaries, particularly on what the break even uh, cost of a Waymo could be per vehicle. Now, conservatively accounting for things like depreciation, base price for the car, electricity costs, support staff uh, ratios, support staff wages, so software development cost, of course. My modeling brought me to uh, guess that Waymo could be spending $315 a day per car in its fleet. At an average cost of $15 per ride, Waymo needs to do 20 to 21 rides per vehicle per day to break even on that particular vehicle. These figures will only get better at scale over time and when Waymo starts doing longer rides. Again, battery technology is getting better over time. I would even argue that the battery technology in the Jaguar I-Pace is pretty obsolete compared to what's out on the market today. Um, not even talking about their 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery. Anyways, the point that I'm making with this whole vehicle with this whole video is that Tesla doesn't need to come out of the gate uh, battery swapping with their robo taxis. I just don't believe that. And I also want to say that Waymo has already proved that. I would like them to do it and it's possible that China could force them to do it, but it's not absolutely necessary. It's not battery swap now or this thing will never get off the ground. We're all NEO investors, so that's what we want it to be. But we have to kind of step outside of ourselves be objective, and look at the situation as a whole. Am I rooting for that to happen? Absolutely yes, for everyone to implement battery swapping. And obviously, Neil's the golden standard of battery swapping. They have the most patents. They're the best in the world. So with all that being said, I want to know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Hopefully, this gets some discussion started. Hit the like button. Click the notification bell icon and make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 10K before the year is over. Thank you for watching.